This is uh, Elena. Yeah. She's a fellow streamer. Yeah, so I met Kosia at the chess festival. That's right. At the National Twitch panel. Open. So that was really fun. Yeah, that was great. That was your first tournament, which to me was incredible. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you did really well. So yeah, so this next tournament I had was um, the Sacramento. It was my second tournament ever. The 25th annual Sacramento Championship. Thank you, Adeline. Thank you. Uh, that is what that was. And uh, it was my first, well, my second tournament ever. And I played uh, against, I mean, a few different rated opponents, like 1900 and then 600. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the 600s and the 900s were definitely underrated by a lot. So all my games were really difficult. And I played mostly the Karo Khan, I think, in the Scotch game, which is what I currently play. Um, and so a lot of the games are going to be, they're going to be, I guess, variations of those openings. Gotcha. So, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, cool. And, and these games were longer, right? The time control was 90 plus 30. Which yeah, is, 90 plus 30. Dang, Very that's, long. That's I, serious. That's like a real adult time control. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I learned a lot playing those long games, though. And I was uh, was talking a little bit about it earlier today. But I think I overanalyzed a lot and overthought. And like, and I basically calculated way too many lines. And then later I realized, like in my third game, I created such a difficult position and I think it was after that game I realized that sure I have this positional advantage, but it's so complicated. I'm not I'm not like experienced enough for it that I think I have to start calculating only a few lines because mm -hmm. I'm not even like I'm not good enough yet to calculate a bunch of lines and make make like create these complicated positions that I can't follow through with. And so I ended up flagging my third game because I just I was so in, so much like so deep in thought, and it was just so complicated. I freaking run out of time so yeah yeah well that that's interesting so it's definitely very common for players to just end up yeah. spending like too much time and then you don't leave yourself with enough time for the really complicated part later on yeah the game just gets super tactical yeah um i feel like a lot of newer players end up having the opposite problem where they just kind of play too quickly because they're used to playing like blitz and rapid online and then they kind of rush mm -hmm. and then they don't use their time which i think honestly yeah. is a, much bigger problem than um than like using maybe a little bit too much time i tuned into your streams a bit i was watching you play mm -hmm. honestly i felt like your time usage was good especially mm -hmm. since you're you know like less experienced i would rather you spend more time and like make sure you're mm -hmm. playing careful and like not blundering rather than like trying to keep up with your opponent and then you like miss something yeah. you like hang something and then you know the game's just, just yeah over. So it's all about yeah, like finding it, that that balance eventually. But we definitely. we'll definitely talk about the uh, the time. For sure. Issues, that's, uh, yeah, for me, I've noticed p uh, my all my opponents play really fast, and I think it's a little bit more frustrating for that reason when you spend so much time, yeah, creating positions and then losing because, I mean, you you know that's that's like a double edged sword kind of situation. If you spend a lot of time trying to like think of these positions and tactics, and then also trying to figure out def defense. A lot of times, like, you're, the person reacting could just basically sit there and react. They don't have to, like, think. They just have to not blunder, right? A lot of times. And, mm -hmm. like, see what you're thinking, like, what your ideas are. Um, and so, I don't know. That, like, kind of made me a little bit annoyed, a little, like, with myself in a way, too. I'm like, why am I even spending all of this time trying to create these positions when yeah. really all they have to do is just react to it and, like... <laughs> You know, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but that's something I like. Kind of realized that. No, I, th yeah. I think I get it. When when you're an attacking player, you often do have to take a certain amount of risk, which could mean like yeah. sacrificing material. It could mean accepting a weakness early on, and then you have to kind of like defend that weakness the whole game while you're yeah. looking for your attack. And yeah, you're. It's on you to kind of make enough threats, and then your opponent can yeah. just try to defend. And but okay, it it goes both ways. Now I remember one of your opponents. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I think they were probably a kid or something. They like hung their rook in one move. Like they played super mm -hmm. fast. I think they had a ton mm -hmm. of time on their clock, and then they just mm -hmm. hung their rook. And then you forked that's, them. That's uh. The rook and that's Derek. Derek's in here right now, actually. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Well, I'm we'll sorry. definitely be we'll definitely be going over that game. So. 
Yeah, yeah was, it's that was so that's the that's the both sides of the yeah. coin, right? Derek's yeah. probably not going to flag too many games, but sometimes right. he's going to hang a full rook. The game that almost never happened. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny. The story behind this game is so funny. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. So this game, I don't remember how it went, but we're about to find out. Oh wait, I am. I think I'm black here. Wait, what yeah. was the funny story? Oh, so Dice came up to me and he's like, oh, you know, I watch your streams. I watched like when you got 1600 and like, I think the tournaments as well. And they're really good. Keep it up, you know? And so like I was paired up against this other person, but somebody withdrew. So they redid the pairings. I ended up playing against him right after that. Uh, so yes. yeah, <laughs> it was, it was kind of cool. So it was definitely, it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, cool. I get to play as somebody who's watched the stream before. And then I play this line because, I mean, Karo Khan, that's what I play. Mm -hmm. um, and then, let's see, I played, you know, the same openings. And then this looks like the London to me. Yeah, a little like, similar. Sure. Yeah. Wait, what's the difference between Slav and Karo Khan again? I always forget. Um, Karo Khan is a E4 opening and Slav is a D4 opening. But other than that, they're exactly the same. Slav is e4. Yeah. This is not the Slav. No, Double this is London. the Slav. So, yeah, Karo is, like, against yeah. e4, and then Slav is yeah. against... Uh... Okay. Okay, here I took because I'm an idiot. That's why. Like, no joke. I, uh... My plan was take... Wait, it was, uh... Take this that and then you know something like that that but or like this you know but the problem is the problem is you guys it's just bad because they could have just taken with a with the queen instead so it didn't get me anywhere and i just gave a bishop for a, a knight that's not even developed so like that's not so this was a, like a, an, it, it was a mistake yeah and it's like okay do you really you really want to take this pawn with your queen right like I do want yeah. to take that ball to my queen. You do want to take the ball. <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> what do you mean? Hell yeah, I'll take a pawn. Let's go. Did, did you just forget your scary. last game? Like you sacked a pawn in the opening. You like, you know, yeah. could have checkmated your opponent. You crushed them in the end game. You know. I'd say just get <laughs> no, your pieces I mean, out. Just, you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, I definitely like would, was not going to take on B2. I just wanted to take the A pawn. So... That's what ended up happening, like, and and he took with the rook, so he he um dice did hang the a pawn. True. But this was a pain in the butt because like, you know, then I have to get my queen out. So I my, positionally, I'm not doing well. Um, yeah. Positionally, and then they take and look. The whole side is open now, like for white, basically. Right. Like, not good at all. No, yeah, I should have done this. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look. This fun. is scary oh, now. Neither. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this was not <laughs> the best opening this. I played. This is not. I did recover nicely because I like I had a plan on how yeah. the hell to get out of it, but it was scary because, you know, now I have like one piece developed. Mm -hmm. You know, what is this? It's it's a. Uh, an experiment. It's an experiment. Okay, that's what this is. So no, it turned into a very interesting game because like okay, did. black, yeah, like forced you to give up your castling rights. But the thing is, it's yeah. like you can still kind of castle by hand. You can get your bishop out. You can get your king out. Your rook comes out. If you get all this, then you're um, yeah, you're you're gonna be just fine. And then you'll yeah, get to keep so. your extra pawn. You know, right. see, you made a philosophical argument. You're like by taking this yeah. pawn, you're saying. Yeah. White doesn't have enough, right? Compensation. Yeah. And then yeah. it's up to you to kind of just get your pieces out and, right. and figure it out from there. There was really no trap, though. People keep saying queen to c1, but, like, all I would have done if they moved queen to c1 was move back with my queen, which was the plan if they did that. So there was, like, no trap for uh, oh, okay. Hold on. my Maybe queen. There was... so like, I didn't see here. any when I calculated it. Yeah, and if they did that there, um, if they did that there, like... Turning this one. Oh, you're right. They are threatening that. We got this. But then I could still... Yeah. So yeah, got the problem this. was so it's like threatening Rick A1 and this. So that's yeah. 
very annoying. Yeah. Um, so chat has a point. But right. Let's say so I was thinking I'm going to yeah queen to a5 though. And then like check. There's one more word really. Yeah. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not fun for for black. Yeah. This is not good, or not too good at least. All right. That's why the engine didn't like this. Yeah, but like even without the engine, I could have told you that this is not worth doing. I did tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the tape. You did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, listen, I knew it was not worth doing after I did it, okay? Because I was like, ah, oh, there's just too much lack of development here. Exactly. You know, no, too much lack of development. That's so why it's that good was to, to learn from it. Yeah. Especially as black, remember, like, you are playing second, so you automatically yeah. kind of are going to be behind in development. Right. So if you right. give up a lot of time, you know, it can be very, very dangerous. Yeah, definitely have certain themes going on uh, in this tournament, like getting my queen out too early and... Uh, not castling. Yeah, so this this is like the third game, right, where your queen comes out <laughs> early. <laughs> yeah. Tries to take something. Yeah, a little bit of a pattern. A little bit of yeah. a pattern. Absolutely. Um, that said, I so mean, you I... back, and now here mm -hmm. it doesn't look like white actually has that much. Like, your king is safe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For sure. So you did manage to, um, to get mm -hmm. out 100%. Mm hmm I survived. Rook C3, and now you're taking over. Now it's like you're mm -hmm. developed enough, you can activate your pieces. Uh, Rook's connected. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Um, and this one, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you've kind of taken over. Right. So E4, took this one. Yeah. Traded. Mm hmm Second rank, nice. Yeah. And then I just, I didn't want to move my rook back um, down. I didn't see it, like to C or C3. It seemed like it made more sense to do A2. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I did, so. Because then if they move the rook up, I can win that center pawn, which is pretty important. Yeah, it looks Strong like, pawn. Um, that's yeah. what happened, right? Takes and takes Yeah. Rook. Nice, now mm -hmm. it's two pawns. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. you know, um, yeah, so. Pinning that knight basically, and really, there's not a lot of options here now. Uh, with queen to f5, I think, besides change, trade, uh, trading the rooks. Yeah, this definitely looks good. Of course, now you're two pawns up, so you probably have some choices. Yeah. Your queen f5, you could bring this guy back, and yeah, so you're two pawns up, you're doing extremely well, right? Um, it's as they say, a technical position, which basically means like. You don't have uh -huh. to do anything super special to win. You just need to slowly improve, start pushing okay. your pawns, and eventually your extra material just kind of okay. speaks for itself. Right. Um, so, but the queen f5 is totally fine, just keeping your rook active. Mm -hmm. And we traded. Now mm -hmm. trading queens. Yeah, your two mm -hmm. pawns up. Endgame would be totally winning for you here, so 100% mm -hmm. like right. uh, just trying to trade is the right strategy. Oh, queen f2. Nice. Yeah, in nice. this position, yeah, the queen f2, um, I think he just missed that. So I was able to take that and win an extra pawn. So now I'm pawn. three pawns up, <laughs> yeah. which is really hard to recover from endgame. Um, so mm -hmm. you didn't see queen f2? I saw queen f2 like shortly after, but I didn't see it right away either, to be honest. But I was like looking around and yeah. And That's then nice here, touch. you know, nice I just mm -hmm. set up the win. This was a good end game, actually. Like it goes on for a while. Um, yeah. Here, the thing is, like, just don't rush. Don't hang anything. Yeah. And, and that's what I was going for. Pawns. If you look at my long diagonal of uh, pawns. Right. And then just yeah, push, push both pawns. Now this one's simple because all you have to do is just push both pawns. <laughs> like. This guy. But the knight did a good job covering it for the most part, but. Um, Okay. Then this was, okay. yeah, yeah, things got a, little, a, a little hesitation, <laughs> but you got you got the job done. I, yeah. I mean, you didn't you didn't well, give up your advantage at any point. So I went slow because I mean, like, it's easy to really mess up end game, in my opinion. So Absolutely. I don't want to. I didn't want to do that. So that yeah, bishop. My bishop is allowing powerful. some like kind of some stalemate trick you just have to keep that in the back of your mind like, oh yeah no i was aware i was very aware of that that's, plus that's it's like it. classic i'm not gonna stalemate because they had that 
That's why I didn't take the H pawn. I know so. H five. I know. Yeah, that's exactly what you're. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't take it. What your opponent wanted for sure. No, King E two. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. No, Good beautiful, night. beautiful. You get the, the pawn checkmate. Yeah. So this one, I think that you know, um, I was I the opening was very iffy, but um, I think Dice, since he didn't play too aggressive, I was able to kind of come back from it. But if he started playing super aggressive and started taking advantage of like my uh, lack of development, I would have probably got rolled pretty quickly there. Yeah, but no, I From mean, honestly, I dude, really good game. Like you, you made one bad decision, let's say, but like taking and, and going yeah. for this pawn. Um, yeah. But, but then after that, like in terms of just developing your pieces, finding a yeah. good square for your king. And then once you had the advantage, like this was a very, very mm -hmm. good technique. Like yeah. really smooth, just trading everything. At the second pawn. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Honestly, like not one of your moves is wrong after, like the the opening phase. So, yay. Really well played. Yeah. You just have I to really develop your to pieces it. before you, you know, go pawn grab. Yeah. <laughs> but but queen is uh good enough. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, like queen, I won the guys. game, so it worked for me. It's like the you queen. proved your point. You won the game, <laughs> and that means that bishop takes b1 is the correct decision. Here's the thing: you can do things like that, you know, like uh, you know, I I doubt I can do things like that, like against a very high opponent higher than me. I'll get rolled so quickly, get wrecked. Definitely, yeah, or like yeah, right, like someone who is yeah, kind of more a very like more focused, higher on, rated on than I am. Would, yeah, yeah, definitely mm -hmm. like um, yeah be a little bit more aggressive for example just like just playing this check not really worrying about anything castling you know, just going for yeah. someone and yeah. going for the queen trap this would have been very very unpleasant for sure um but definitely but chess is hard yeah. i mean it's like when you're down a pawn you have to like kind of prove it you have to justify the compensation yeah it's yeah not exactly easy. it's not easy either so for sure um yeah so let's say i think we missed uh, one or two games. I don't know if we saw. I think we game. missed one game only, but it's okay. Yeah. There was a knight fork, knight d three after you played bishop to b two. Wait, I think it's worth pointing on that there was a knight fork, knight to d three. Oh, you, oh you mean the bishop and the other fork? Oh, I was very aware of that. I think if we go to the end, um, like wait one sec here. Like, uh, what did you say? The knight fork, knight d3. Wait, where is this fork you're talking about? I think it's like way later. I think it's, um, way later. Yeah, because like I saw the four a fork earlier, like here, maybe. And oh, here, wait, oh, there was a fork. Where is there a fork here? All right, so uh, king d1. A3. Yeah. King e2. Uh huh. Oh, wait, sorry. Back, back. Um, back here. At this moment, there was uh, bishop b2. At this moment. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah I missed that. I missed that. Mm. I did not see that at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, I think you're like still winning because you're just up so many pawns. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny. Actually, let's say you go. Oh, I missed that. Damn, that would have hurt. Let's say you play here, actually. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that you're still winning this. This this shows just how bad knights are with dealing uh, with rook pawns. Because oh, wow. the you knight know? actually would, would not be able oh my to get God. back and stop the pawn. That's, that's scary. Yeah. How did I miss that fork? I was looking so carefully for forks, and I missed it. Okay, hold on. Knight uh, before. And yeah. now, now black to play. What should black do? Obviously not move the castle. Wait. Oh, okay. So black should... Um, I don't know. I was being sarcastic, but I literally can't do that. Oh, you know what I need to do here? Make another knight. <laughs> you make a knight. Very good. Oh. Yeah, I make a knight. Exactly. Oh! I guessed it. I'm so good. Because if you make a queen, then it's uh, yeah. There's yeah, a fork. There's the queen. No good. But you yeah. make a knight, and then yeah, you're up two pawns. Yeah. You can probably then still I win. Right. I think I'm good here then. But uh. Wow. It would have been a little bit more tricky. 
but I feel like, yeah, not great to hang the bishop. I think. Um, no, I I didn't see that. But I don't remember doing that better. move though. I'm confused. When did I move the bishop to b2? I never did that, did I? Y'all got that right? Did I really do that? I don't you know, remember that move. I remember. It. Weren't you having like? Were you guys having some uh, transmission issues? Yeah. Maybe you didn't have, get the right. Yeah, move order because exactly. I moved this and that and then this. I never moved the bishop to attack the knight. I literally never don't remember doing that. Like, cause I wasn't worried about the knight. I wasn't moving that to attack it. If you yeah, did a fork, I think you that. Somehow, yeah, I, I feel like you you wouldn't read the comments and the yeah. I don't remember doing that. Like. Yeah, I don't read the comments in PG. Uh, I don't know how to read the comments. Let me see. We missed the next few games, so I just inserted random moves. Oh, yeah, I didn't make that move. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me go grab my let me go grab my paper thing. Sure, I think I'll sure, find it. it yeah, give me one second, sure chat. Yeah, I don't think this happened. I never had my my knight and bishop there. You guys gotta have more faith in your. <laughs> like that's such a weird move. I wouldn't make that move because I was so I was so like confident or. Not confident, I was so wary of getting forked that I was like so careful about it. Yeah, I never had bishop to b2. I'm looking through the end moves. It's not there. Nice. Yeah, so that never actually happened. Y'all thought, you guys thought I did that. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, so it was king to d one second like this. Move mm -hmm. back, and then I made the move a3 here. Mm -hmm. And then um, they made the move a3 you're pushing both sides g4 okay you you did g4 here and i did g6 here i think you did this move and then i did this and then knight to i think i don't remember but anyways i never i never made this move so um yeah there was no fork yeah i think you did yeah, me. my king was like somewhere over here, to be honest, at this point. Because I, the, the, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, I mean, that's the nice thing about having a lot of pass pawns. Yeah. You have a lot of options with which one you want to win with. You want to promote your definitely, eight pawn, yeah. Or pawn, you know, <laughs> whatever you yeah. want to do. Yeah, I just played zigzag with my knight. You did. I was like, maybe he's going for like a, a draw, you know? repetition perhaps but yeah it was interesting but i'm like why does the move bishop to like b2 look so weird i'm like i don't remember doing that <laughs> <laughs> i didn't but yeah good though it's good yeah this, this end game was very good it was slow but that's because i didn't want to make any mistakes against the knight because i've gotten forked before with knights so i was like i'm gonna be careful no, no, Knights you, are way too tricky. Yeah, you want a game with a knife fork. No, better safe than soldery, for sure. Yeah. These end games. Like, end game I play very play. safe. Yeah, Just to for sure. Take it slow. Um, no, I can, man, man. You did great, yeah. honestly. Like, uh, really yeah. solid games. And it's not easy to play six long games in a weekend. Like, two games a day. Just yeah. brutal. It, it was kind of tiring. One game a day is good enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Game these games are so at. long, dude. They're so long. It hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to chess. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. I feel like I learned a lot today. So thanks for coming on. Great. Great. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I felt useful. Um, no. I'm, yeah. It's good to see your games. I was very curious as well. <laughs> um, yeah. You. Uh. You learned a lot about my playing style. I think a little bit. For sure, for sure. Not castling, but um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah caught like little little bits and pieces, but it was good to kind of yeah. see a little bit more. No, I think you're yeah you're on a great track. You just have to like keep working, mm -hmm. you know, keep playing games, keep learning new ideas. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you have a lot for of sure. like fundamentals and stuff that's just not obvious to people, and you just I think maybe you don't even like fully understand uh, <laughs> yourself, mm -hmm. but it's like you definitely I think have a good intuition for the pieces and, and where they kind of belong on a chessboard. Yeah. So it, yeah, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I think the, the fundamentals, I, I do try to follow them for the most part and I think they help a lot. So you're probably right about that. But yeah. Um, if you guys want to follow, um, uh, Koisei over here, chess dojo, 
yeah, if you're not following yet, also make sure to follow. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today and for uh, watching. And um, hopefully you guys learned as much as I did, because I feel like I learned quite a bit today, all thanks to, uh, to Costa and Dylan. So thank them for coming and uh, teaching us on the stream. Yeah, absolutely. You too, you too. No, that was, a, it was an absolute blast. It was fun.